Hello world. So today I'm going to go a little bit more over um, reasons God has put you, God, the universe has put you in a way in which you are completely alone or you feel like you are alone. A lot of different reasons to come. I've been coming up with even more as after I had made this list. Um, events of the days kind of show me new light on why I was in my ways of being alone and different things like that. So yesterday um, I had talked about your reasons for being alone to teach you what your heart needs most. So learning more about you and what you love, um, understanding your heart and your heart's desires. I know that was a big one for me too, what, understanding and learning um, what I want. I've been able to get what I want, those sorts of things, but to really get deep into that whole pleasure spot of want, what lights up my life. That was, that was kind of something that took me a little while to grasp onto. I was so used to just taking care of myself or meeting certain needs with things. So the second thing I talked about yesterday is to remind you, you are not ever fully alone. You have God and the strength of the ancestors. And this one I think was really kind of fitting because last night when I read my daily break, um, daybreak daily messages to illuminate your spiritual life, it said, you are not alone. The entirety of the spirit realm is behind you, not just supporting you, but honoring your growth and evolution. It takes courage to come to earth at, in this time and space. You were a brave soul who made that choice because you have the resilience, William, wisdom, and strength to overcome this planet's challenges. Continue to heal your own karma and shine your light as a beacon for others. Your ancestors and spirit team are so grateful for the work you're doing. Keep going. So I thought that was really fitting last night when I read that at the end of the day and um, that full circle kind of effect on there. There are no coincidences. So that was just a sign. Another reason I want to go over today is um, a reason you might be alone is to reflect and heal. Again, I kind of talked on this. Your muscles hold memories. Your memory, your brain holds memories. When you're healing, there's a lot to come up. And, and go through with um, everything that you've been through in life. And so there are going to be things that you you have to face head on in order to move and up level in your, your next journey. And I think that's where sometimes with the whole idea, like I had mentioned yesterday, I think it was with the um, idea that I had heard that the devil wants you to be alone. But at the same time, you need to learn how to confront your own fears. If you don't learn how to heal and get past what you are afraid of from your past. If you don't, if you don't have it within you to be able to reflect and heal, you're not going to be able to move forward. Another conclusion I actually came to yesterday at one point when I was kind of reflecting on when I was ill. And then also I have a few friends that are, are in, in really bad places right now when it comes to illness. And, uh, you know, I kind of came to the conclusion yesterday as I was going through stuff, a big part of the reason why I got sick, I know it wasn't it wasn't completely in my control. It was a lot of different elements, um, a lot of the different things that had come up in my life that kind of caused me to not be well. Um, some of them, the um, ancestral sort of things as well, environmental things kind of caused it. So those are things that are completely out of my control. But I started um, thinking yesterday and realizing that sometimes the reason things happen to us in the instance I was definitely thinking was my own sickness and a couple other people when they've been sick is because we have allowed others in a sense to live our lives for us. We haven't actually been at our full strength at any point that we were actually able to move forward in the form of health. The person that we were born to be that, that we were made to be on this earth, that God, our God sense of who we are supposed to be. And we hadn't ever allowed others or ourselves to actually be in that person fully. And the only way to get to that person fully is to remove everybody else that has been part of your influence because they may have had some sort of help in your sickness. And so that was something that really came up for me 
um, as this past couple of days as I started thinking about it. So yeah, sometimes you have to be alone to be able to reflect on your past. It's your past and be able to heal from those things. Only you can go through those things. That's one of those 24-7 from, from the day you're born till the day you're dead. You're the only one that actually knows how all those things were and it's up to you to be able to learn how to progress and how you're going to respond through. And then one more thing I'm going to get real quick too is to get past your fears and find your strength and ability to do. This is another one that is really, really big for me. Um, this one also kind of in a sense comes from if you've had others living your life for you, telling you what to do, where you've been trying to please them, um, or maybe you've lived in fear of them. You haven't been in your full strength, which is part of your health in so many ways as well, being in your full strength. So being able to get past those fears of being your full strength and your full ability of who you are and what you can do is a necessity in order to move into your next level of things. So those two things really kind of go together in so many ways. And so that's where I wanted to go with today. Um, there is a few more that I'm going to go over. So the next video, couple videos, I don't know, will still be touching on reasons why you're alone. And of course, I will probably either come up with more things or be able to find ways that they fit what I've already got here. So you have a wonderful day.